everyone, it's Sherry Carroll for SimonSaysStamp.com with a little how-to on how to use some watercolors. There are so many out on the market, I'm sure it's really hard for you to choose which ones you want, but I thought I'd go through a few and kind of show you. So these are the Peerless, and these are sheets of paper that have concentrated ink or concentrated watercolor on each page. So there's a, a load of colors that you can work with, and those are really fun to play with. Also, you can use a dry palette. There's many brands out there, but this is a dry palette that you'll wet down and use a wet paint brush to paint with. Also, this one is one of my favorite dry palettes, and these all have really nice concentrated creamy color that you would also wet down and use to watercolor with. So starting with my Kuretake watercolors, I'm going to spritz down the little palette of color with my spritz water bottle here. You could also load up a brush of water and just dip it in, but the main thing you want to do is to go ahead and get those watercolors wet. The next thing that I learned to do is to take a clean paintbrush and wet down the area that I'm going to be painting. So I'm just going to run my paintbrush over this end and just get in and make sure that I have all the areas of the end wet. This is called wet on wet painting. So I'm going to go ahead and grab some of that wet paint from the palette and just drop it right into the area that is wet on my watercolor paper here. And it just flows right into where the water is. So it will follow the design of what you have painted with your clear water. Next, I'm using my Peerless and I'm just going to go ahead and take my wet paintbrush. I don't want too much water on there, but I'm going to go ahead and pull up some of that color. And this is called wet on dry. So I have not wet my C and I'm just painting in and following the design all around with the colored paint in the paintbrush. The Peerless watercolors are really fantastic because you only use just a small area and you get quite a bit of color. They are also a very clear paint because they don't have any fillers or gum to hold them together in a palette. I think the best way to find out more about your paints is to go ahead and experiment and play around and discover whether you like the wet on wet or wet on dry technique best. Both techniques give you a really nice watercolor effect and as you can see I'm just adding in a little bit more stronger color using the wet on wet technique for this panel. I hope I've given you some helpful tips and tricks to use watercoloring in your card making. And as always, thanks so much for watching.